disabled person reviews disabled media rep part 51 true biz this was such a good read this book centers itself around a residential school for the deaf following the headmistress who is a hearing coda child of deaf adults also she has a wife that brought me a lot of joy um a boy who's from generations of a deaf family and a girl who has never met a deaf person before and has been primarily deprived of language until she shows up at this school i loved the little snippets of education about deaf history and asl scattered throughout the book i loved how the exposition of deaf culture didn't feel unnatural or shoehorned in or like it was deliberately describing things to a hearing audience but instead in line with the rest of the exposition there was a lot of activism in the text but none of it felt particularly preachy or out of place it felt like real in community conversations that happen every day because they do which included all the messy nuances of cochlear implants and not being afraid to talk about how toxic and petty the deaf community can be sometimes and also how schools for one minority can still be discriminatory towards another minority also i know that charlie's reason for getting migraines is very different from my reason for getting migraines but i have never heard anybody talk about how sometimes trying to focus on signing can cause motion sickness or brain fog or visual sensory overload even when at a point it's the most comfortable natural form of communication uh, because i very much felt like that when i was younger and thought i was fully alone in that experience and i felt weirdly seen my one frustration was that none of the dialogue had quotation marks which made it a lot harder to process in my brain but over time i grew to get used to it and so it didn't bother me as much and i'm assuming that choice was deliberate but anyway this book regardless of disability rep goes in directions you truly cannot anticipate it had me glued to my seat the entire time i cannot recommend it enough